If you've decided to download a dating app or maybe online dating and you're finding that you're just not having any matches or success, a big reason could be because your profile sucks. There's no other way to say it. So in this video, I want to give you some online dating and dating app profile hacks that can actually help you increase your engagement and matches with other people and hopefully get you the connection that you want. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee Slansky, a professional dating and relationship coach. And today I'm doing a video for Flirtini, the dating app, which you can also use to build social connections as well. Make sure you check it out in the link below. Now let's dive into those online dating app or online profile mistakes that you are making. And basically we're going to divide this into two things. We're going to divide it into photos and bio, because that's pretty much what is on an app or a dating site. Now, before I do that, don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up or a big heart. Okay. So the mistakes that you're probably making that are holding you back when it comes to using online dating and dating apps with your photos is this. Number one, you may actually have too many people in the photo. So what you're doing is you're making this a guessing game for your matches. They have to keep swiping through all your photos to actually see who you are instead of knowing straight off the bat that this is you. The second thing that you could be doing is you're actually covering your face too much so they're not able to get a clear picture of what you look like. Remove the hat remove the sunglasses, make sure that your face isn't blurred or you're not a dot in the background, but you're actually in a nice frame. For example, you can see me now in the frame that I'm in. You can see my shoulders. You can start to see the beginning of my chest. I have enough space evenly around my head and my profile so that you can actually have me as the focus and you're not confused about all the other people around me, because there are none, or I'm not covering my eyes, or covering my head in a way that is concealing my identity. Another common mistake that I see with you girls and guys out there is that you have a photo uh, in your profile, but you've cut out the X, or you've cut out somebody else in the photo. And what that does is it kind of indicates that either you're not over your ex or that you haven't got any other photos available to actually put on your profile. And so you were forced to take the one with your ex and cut your ex out out of the picture. Really doesn't show that you have moved on because if you're not able to have other photos after you've just finished a relationship, maybe you shouldn't even be dating in the first place. So what are some tips when it comes to actually having some photos that are going to help boost you in the algorithm on these apps. The first thing, as I was saying, is make sure that you have a really clear picture of who you are so that they can be sure that, yep, this is the person that I'm instantly looking at. Make sure that you can look directly at the camera, that you are smiling. Selfies are okay, but just make sure that the selfie is at an angle that is more straight on rather than too high up or too down low, too low below. If you have it too high up, what that does is it actually distorts you. Um, it gives a look down your chest. Uh, it gives this warped perception of what you could actually look like physically. And of course, down below, well, that's never a flattering angle. The second thing you should do when it comes to photos is actually give an array of photos. For example, your first photo should be just you. Maybe your second photo can show you something that you're interested in, a hobby, an activity. Your third photo can show you being in a social situation so that they know that you have friends. Your fourth photo might want to involve an animal or a pet or something that is dear to you. And your fifth photo might be, want to be one of you actually really dressed up so that you can take them on a journey of you being casual, having a social life, having something fun, having hobbies, and then bam, you're looking amazing at the end. Now let's talk about bio mistakes. A lot of the time, you guys just don't fill the bio out properly and you're either too ambiguous, meaning you're not putting enough detail in there and it's just leaving people guessing or you're putting too much in there and it's making you come across aggressive or like you're just high maintenance. Obviously, if you're on an online dating site, there is more room to put stuff in a bio because it has more space. Where 
as it comes to a dating app, you only get a couple of sentences. So it's really important what you say in those sentences. My tips on how to have an awesome bio is this. Keep it simple, use humor if you can, and be honest. Now, being honest doesn't necessarily mean that you have to go into complicated detail about what it is that you're looking for. Again, you want to keep it simple. Something along the lines is, Hey, I am Renee and I really love the outdoors and I'm hoping to find a rock climbing buddy who also enjoys a nice wine later and who knows, maybe we can get a cat five years down the track. You know, that is something that I've obviously just pulled off the top of my head. It is simple. It is funny. It gives a hint of what I'm interested in and what I'm looking for with a little bit of twist of humor in there as well. Remember that your bio is and your photos are just kind of the little bit of you okay it's kind of advertising who you are to be able to get matches and engagement from other people and then when you actually match and have a real conversation that's when you can go into more depth so don't feel like you have to put everything in the bio it's basically just a one or two liner if you're on a dating app where you can get that person's attention because you come across as really easygoing warm friendly and you leave a little bit of mystery about yourself that makes a person want to know more about who you are. So let us know in the comments down below what is your bio hack that you have that you have found has really helped you get some awesome dates. Or if you just found these tips really helpful, drop a thanks, Renee. I'm Renee Slansky for Flotini. You can check out our dating app down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye for now.